Hi, Joshua. Hi. <laughs> so today we're going to talk about fractions. And I have a template here. It's like an organizer. It's a graphic organizer. And so the first thing I want you to do is I want you to tell me like what a fraction is and then I'm going to have you draw an example. So tell me what a fraction is. A fraction is a type of math. Okay. So example, like this, it was six pieces of pie. Mm -hmm. One, two people ate two pieces of pie. Okay. And it was two left. So okay. the um the fraction would be six and two. Okay. I have a question for you. What does the how what does the bottom number tell us? The bottom number tells us how many pieces both people or one person ate of the um, pie or the object. Okay. What does the top number tell us? It tells us how many pieces there were before the uh, other person took or ate it. Okay. All right. Now, um, so if I say I had, like, we have this pie, it has six pieces. Mm -hmm. and you said two people ate two pieces each mm -hmm. and there's two pieces left right mm -hmm. so usually when you when we're doing this the mm -hmm. the bottom number do you know what the bottom number is called no. you don't know what the bottom number is? do you know what the top number is called no no okay so the the top number is called a numerator the bottom number is called a denominator and mm -hmm. the bottom number is actually the number that tells us how many pieces total. And the top number tells us, right, how many pieces were eaten or how many pieces were left, depending on what the question is. So in your problem, you know, two people ate two pieces each, and if I said how many were left, what fraction would you write to show how many were left? Two and six. Mm-hmm, two, uh-huh, so we would call, do you know how to say that? Mm-hmm. How would you say that? Two and six. Two and six, okay. Or or we might say two sixths. Yeah, two six. Two six, okay. Can you give me a real life example? This is certainly one real life example. Can you give me another real life example? Like this. And tell me the story that goes with it. It was eight pieces of pepperoni pizza. Okay. Two, two people ate four pieces. Okay. Two people ate four pieces? Is that what you said? Mm -hmm. Okay, and so how much is left? How much so how much is left? The um fracture would be A and Four. All right. So we might call that, how would we say that? Eight. I mean, four eighths. Four eighths. Very good. Okay. Could you give me a non-example of a fraction, something that's not a fraction? Mm, yeah, I guess. Something that doesn't show a fraction. What do you mean, like a... An even or a not even? Okay, that's a really interesting question, an even or a not even. Um, well, if I just said give me an example of, of something that's not a fraction, what comes to mind? What do you think of? Nothing. You think of nothing? Okay, all right. Um, so, in summation, what what is your definition of a fraction? What is a fraction? When we talk about fractions, what are we talking about? It's like uh, the, the dividing it. It's like dividing it, right? Okay, it's like pieces of something, right? It's a part of a whole, right? So this is the whole and we're talking about parts of the whole. All right, so um, what we're going to work on, right, is this idea of when you have a fraction and you divide it, we're going to work on how to write it 
right? Like two, six, or four eighths. And we'll also probably do some work on being able to say exactly what it is. Okay? All right, so um, thank you. You're welcome. Okay.